Okay, switch in three. So the only difference now is it's the same config, except you're configuring dot one Q trunking. So all you're doing is you're just telling it how it's going to trunk VLANs, that's all. When you're connected to an access port, you don't have to worry about trunking VLANs because you're all in the same VLAN. You're on an access port, you're in one VLAN. But on a trunk VLAN, a trunk port, what you're saying is multiple VLANs are assigned to the same port. So one wire, one port on the switch can literally be connected to have access to multiple networks. So that's what that is. He's gonna make you create sub interfaces on the router to do that. So you're on FA0.0.10, FA0.0.20. Now again, guys, you don't need to do all this today. But if you were doing Cisco back in the stone ages, like when I did it, this is actually what you had to do because switches at the time were only layer two. So if you wanted them to do layer three stuff, you had to involve a router. So it's gonna be the same config, except we're gonna turn on uh, encapsulation, which is, which is basically how you wanna tunnel traffic. So you've got 802.1Q versus ISL. It's your two different um, trunking. ISL is Cisco proprietary, 802.1Q is open standard. All you're really doing is just saying, how do I want to encapsulate trunk VLANs? Um, I would say that most of the class stuff you're gonna do is generally gonna be 802.1Q. I don't remember a lot of stuff really digging deep into ISL. So for the most part, you're gonna use the open standard. Now you will use a ton of EIGRP for the routing protocol stuff. Like you're gonna, you're gonna do that a lot. Okay, lab three, let's do it. Guys, this is gonna look pretty much the same. So you guys should be able to follow along and do pretty much the same commands as me. I'm here, I'm gonna E in. Uh, let's go comp T. Now I'm gonna jump up to the router. I'm gonna configure the two sub interfaces on the router. And then I'm gonna come back and do F010. Okay, so let's go. This is called router on a stick. This is old. Okay. All right, so let's do, let's do interface VLAN 10 IP address 10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
zero dot sixty two, which I made the default gateway. Five five two five five two five five dot two two four. Got to be on the same network and no shut. Looking good in the neighborhood. Now let's do the same thing for dot twenty. Set the encapsulation to dot one q. Ah, stupid attack. Encapsulation to dot one q twenty. Your IP address. One two. Twenty. No shit. Exit. So we come back over here. Yay! So 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 good.